do you do if someone promised you an extra $500 to $1,000 every month for the next two years? Would it change your life? Because this is actually happening around the country for thousands of low-income Americans. There are over 5,000 people nationwide who are getting free cash this month through these programs, and they are changing lives for people all over the country. It's trickle-up economics, and it really works. Seriously, critics love to complain that guaranteed income programs discourage work and create a culture of dependency and could destroy our entire economy. But the studies and stories that are coming out of these pilot programs prove the exact opposite. Take DeAndre, for example. As a single dad in Atlanta, he used the money to get a commercial driver's license. He can provide for his family better now because he participated in a guaranteed income program. Vanessa in Madison also used the money to get stable housing and a better job so that she can better provide for her family. Gino, a single dad in Tacoma, was trying to figure out how to fit a second job into his already jam-packed schedule and still take care of his children when his application for grit was approved. The money he received empowered him to skip the second job and spend more quality time with his family while his children were young. But this isn't just about families with kids either. Murray in Gainesville doesn't have children at home, but he has been trapped in an endless cycle of poverty and incarceration, and the funds he received from his guaranteed income program helped him pay off his fines, buy a mobility scooter so he can get around better, and even assemble food and care packages for the homeless in his community. Tadrika in Durham also did something amazing. When she was released from prison in 2019, she knew she wanted to become part of a solution. So she used her guaranteed income money to start a foundation called New Generation that helps teach life skills to girls between the ages of 7 and 18. She also works full-time as a peer support specialist now, helping others who are going through hard times. I love these stories, and there were so many more that I wanted to share with you. But the point is, the money from these programs changes lives, and through those changed lives, it can change entire communities. These programs are incredibly transformative, and that's why so many areas are adding and expanding on these guaranteed income pilot programs. Governments and organizations really want to understand what would happen if everyone had a basic income that they could count on every month. But right now, these are just pilot programs. That means they're temporary, they're tech Testing, and they have a clear end date and they're starting with small groups of people in very specific areas. That's why these are guaranteed income programs and not universal basic income programs. UBI gives everyone a check monthly with no strings attached, but the programs that are currently being run are limited in scope. They only provide a check to so many people who meet specific criteria and not to everyone. So let's talk about what you really want to know. Who is eligible for these? Where are they happening? And how do you get that money? for yourself. This is, of course, where it gets complicated. There are over 30 pilot programs that have been announced around the United States in areas from Alexandria, Virginia to West Hollywood, California, and there are more being announced and discussed and proposed all the time. And to make matters even more complicated, every program is very different because the local governments have decided to focus on different things. Atlanta, Georgia's impact program was open to anyone who was at least 18 and met the income limits. Step Up Durham in North Carolina Carolina was exclusively for people who had previously been incarcerated. In Shreveport, Louisiana, the program focused on helping single parents. Ann Arbor, Michigan wants to focus on entrepreneurs. The decision about who will be eligible is typically up to local governments and the program administrators, and it varies widely. So let's talk about the different guaranteed income programs that have been announced and either are open for applications or will be soon. In Harris, Texas, the county commissioners recently approved a guaranteed income program that will provide $500 a month to up to 1,500 families that live in the county. In order to be eligible, your family must have an income that is twice the federal poverty level or less. The program is expected to begin in September and will run for about 18 months. In Ann Arbor, Michigan, a program is opening up that will provide $525 a month for two years to 100 low-income entrepreneurs. In order to be eligible, you have to have an income that is at or below three times the federal poverty level. And this program is still in the planning stages, but you can follow the University of Michigan website for updates. St. Louis, Missouri is developing a low-income program that will provide $500 a month for 18 months. The money will be given to approximately 440 different households. In order to be eligible, you must be the parent or legal guardian of someone under 18 who is enrolled in a St. Louis public school. You must also have an income that is 170% of the federal poverty level or less. According to the city, the 
The applications have not opened yet because the city is still finalizing the details. So make sure that you follow that city website for more information. Other programs have been announced or in the early stages of planning in Alameda, California, Cincinnati, Ohio, New York City, New York, and more. Now, whether or not your city made the list today, it's important to follow your local news and nonprofits closely to find out about any programs that may launch in your area. This is especially true because the application period is often very short, sometimes just days or weeks. There is a lot of demand for these programs, so when the applications do open, they close fast. You have to keep tabs on your local news sources so that you don't miss your window of opportunity. For example, Los Angeles only gave people two weeks to apply for their guaranteed income program called Breathe. Two weeks, that's it. If you didn't hear about it in time, you were just out of luck. You can also subscribe to our channel for our weekly live updates because you know I'm going to report on any guaranteed income programs I find. But if it doesn't show up for me fast enough, you could still miss out. And that's why one of the best ways to make sure that you don't miss out is to subscribe to your city's press releases over email. This way, any announcements that come from your city will go straight to your inbox so you don't miss it. But it's not enough to know when to apply. You also need to know how to apply because if you mess up on your application, it can be game over immediately. So many people rush in to apply for these programs that they get thousands of applications usually. So the agencies in charge will just throw away an application that is incomplete or inaccurate instead of following up with you for more details. So according to the Washington Examiner, about 25% of applications to a recent program were incomplete. That's one in four people who missed their shot. It caused a lot of delays and caused the city to reopen applications and it was frustrating and it was a mess for everyone when that happens. So when you're applying, make sure that you answer every Every question accurately. Be prepared to upload any documentation that they ask you for before you submit the application because you may not have a chance afterward to go in and change that. You should be prepared to provide proof of address, proof of identity, proof of income, and proof of household size. I know that it's tedious, but it's better to do the paperwork right the first time than to completely miss your opportunity for this free money. Since that documentation is required for many different programs, I suggest getting a collapsible portfolio folder or somewhere where you can keep all that documentation together. It makes it easy to apply for a lot of different low-income programs, and it's a great way to store those critical documents safely. Overall, guaranteed income programs are happening all over the place, and they just keep popping up in more areas. The results are turning out great. Studies show that people use this money to pay for rent, food, education, career training, stuff for their kids, and other essentials, which is encouraging even more areas to open up programs like this. I'm excited to see where this all leads, and don't forget to check out our other videos for more ways that you can get money from low-income grants.